Okay, so um, I am starting with a She-Hulk deck. Um, I like She-Hulk. I'm just gonna. So I just want to build her. Um, I haven't played She-Hulk leadership in a while, and I want to give it a go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is grab that three copies of this stinger. Um. Just grabbing the things that I'm obviously including, no matter what. A copy of Endurance. Each of the double resource cards. Avengers Tower and Triskelion. And Squirrel Girl. That's Triskelion. I'm hoping to fit things like Quinjet in, but we'll see how that actually works out in the long run. Okay, so let's start with these two. They're my ally limit cards. These are my call for aid cards. I need them no matter what. Um, oh wait, I need to check the numbers. That's another card that definitely comes into play here. Okay. There. Let's put that there, stinger there, and start building my five Avengers. Uh, so Hellcat's already up. Oh, wait, no, it'll be five Avengers with her, so we'll just start a, a ally row here. Um, one thing I've been considering and I think is worthwhile is if I grab Ant Man, he's effectively a one cost ally, and I can spend more on him if I'd like. I think that's worthwhile. Um, anyone else was dirt cheap? No, no one else was dirt cheap. You're really expensive. You're kind of expensive and I'm not really going into this whole these game plan. Moxie could make it. I think there's other things I want first. Uh, I think Hawkeye is the fifth one. Effectively the sixth because of the Hellcat here. Um, yeah. That leaves me with eight spots. Eight spots to flex here. Um, yeah, so I'm going for Avengers Engine with Call for Aid in triplicate because I'm planning on doing a no uh, a no Avengers strategy once I once I've fully built to try and get my Gamma Slams as often as possible. As such, I need Endurance. I probably want copies of Honorary Avenger. We'll see if they make the cut in the long term, but I think I make. I think I need copies of them. Uh, I need a Quinn carrier. Where is Quinn carrier? Uh, I want at least one copy of team building exercise. And three copies of assess the situation. Okay, so, um, if you're wondering why I'm thinking about these ones, um, so the team building exercise is these are all Avengers, so I can always lower their cost by one and uh, pay for them. Although I think that's a little awkward with Ant Man because I don't know the ruling on whether you can lower cost below zero. 
Um, but the important thing here is Avengers Tower plus team building exercise would allow you to play Hellcat for one every turn, which is nothing. Um, the Quinn Carrier does allow me to long term uh, pay for everything with... Uh, pay for my Superhuman Law Division um, every turn, guarantee. But also I added a few more they're adding a few more of these mental resources will also help with that. Um, though it's not a lot, but I think there's a decent number in her set as well. It's one of her more... Co uh, I think it's slightly less than... Okay. There's one wild, leaving 14. Um, there are three energy, leaving... 11 and the last two are split. I'm pretty sure it's six physical and five mental. One, two, three, four, five. And all five mentals stay in the deck, uh, effectively. Whereas one of the physicals does not. Yep. Yep. Um, so you do always have access to. Uh, so. This brings me up to 8, still not a great chance, the Quinn Carrier is going to be a definite the boon here. Because I definitely don't want to lose any of these. Unless I'm stuck with our ally limit. Um, there is one thing I would like to include in this, I would like to get a Quinjet or two, but they are energy resources, and the reason for that is while a Quinjet is ticking up, it, um, a Quinjet that's ticking up will eventually pay for it a Hellcat, but that's effectively only saving one resource, and it's costing two. Probably not worth it. It's probably the way to go. Okay. So, we have our She Hulk leadership deck built. Uh, and what am I going to play it into? Um, I was thinking about doing. Rhino, Crossbones, Absorbing Man, and Wrecking Crew today. Um, but maybe I'll do Rhino. I don't don't really want to do Absorbing Man and Crossbones in the same with the same deck because they're both um, really weak to being to being rushed. Uh, and I don't really want to do Wrecking Crew with She-Hulk. I want to do that with Spider-Woman because I just don't think I have done that before. Uh, so let's start with... Let's do Rhino. Let's do Rhino. Let's do Rhino. That'll, that'll be fine. Um, that there. Where are you? Break in, take in. We need standard expert. We have Sixteen modular sets. Oh, we we need why aren't they consistent? That's annoying. Uh standard expert. We need a module set. I can't quite reach my D sixteen. I would spawn one in the actual game so you can see me roll it, but I don't think they have D16s in the game. <laughs> okay, that is an 8. Uh, 5 is Doomsday, 8 is Goblin Gimmicks, then Power Drain, then a mess of things. A mess of things. Okay. Rhino with a mess of things. That's going to be so much sun. 
that is a scenario that I kind of wish I had a copy of um, Target Acquired in here. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so after this we'll probably be doing Absorbing Man. Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, don't need that one. Shuffle both of these again. Give myself a colour. Green. Watch me leave this just ever so slightly off centre. Um, I don't know if it's ever so slightly... It's ever so slightly... Um, slanted. Oh well, we'll have, to, we'll have to deal. Okay, so. Opening hand. Nothing to remove breaking and taking. So we're going to be discarding pretty aggressively. Um, I'm going to keep one of the call for aids. Because I think I could actually work with that to clear breaking and taking. I'm going to get rid of the Focus Rage. I'm going to hold on to the Superhuman Strength. Oh, yeah, let's go with these way. Well, at least I can set up an Avengers Tower. <sighs> let's do a call for aid. That went so far. <laughs> uh, do I do another call for aid? Uh, what's the chances? I'm trying to think of what the chance I can draw a two fort character is. Um, there's Hawkeye, not Hawkeye, Ant Man. No matter what I draw. I have the possibility of um That's awkward losing the gamma slam. I probably wasn't gonna play it this round of the deck cycle anyway. Uh da -da. stinger, cool, that works. Okay, so we go for an Avengers Tower. I'm gonna have to lose the endurance to start with. Squirrel Girl, that does the damage up here. Flip to Hero, that does the damage up here. Oh, it does two damage up here. Then I lower Avengers Tower's cost by one. I use the Avengers Tower to lower Stinger's cost by one. Um, and then all three characters fought for one. <laughs> it's really bad. But it removes breaking and taking turn one, so I'm not so I'm effectively removing a card a turn, and I think that's worthwhile. Now, I need to stack up some damage, so I'll take the hit from Rhino. I will block only if there is a second attack. Uh, I draw four cards. This ends a little bit more what I was expecting. Two for that, one two punch, that seems pretty good. Um, I'm getting attacked. Oh, I don't have a health gauge. Oh no, five damage. I'm down to normal people hit points. One card. Under attack. Stampede. I'm going to block that with Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl died. It's worth it to not to avoid the stun. Um, second card from the thing that comes out. Oh my god! Quick strike attack that stuns if he deals damage. My turn becomes awful if I can't stun.
So it becomes awful if I can't kill this, actually, now. Let's block. I'm gonna play a superhuman strength and attack the scorpion, which I want to punch, and then attack again. Killing scorpion, flipping to alter ego. That was awful. Um, I lost my whole my my initial turn one. It was pretty good. I probably would have died otherwise. So let's draw my six cards. Uh, I object to that, because why not? You can add one more. You can have that, that's fine. Don't really have a way to remove this just yet. I can do the 5 damage with a flip and an attack, that's fine. Um, let's do a team building exercise. I don't currently have the Avenger trait, so I have to flip before I play Hawkeye. It's not a big deal. Um, do I increase my hit points this turn? Hawkeye I can pay, pay a 1 for. Right? Yeah, so it's hit points or 1 2 punch. think the 1-2 punch is better, because it's like a tenth of his HP. Let's flip, uh, and then attack, 1-2 punching. That's the 5 damage for that. Attack, bring him down to 9, 1-2, so yeah, use that first, then that. Paying 1 for Hawkeye, who will fought for 1 after he gets his four uses. Oop. Four cards. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Goes up by one, I'm getting attacked again. Five more. One card. Schemes. Can't do anything about that. Four, three. That's gonna basically stop me from flipping. Unless I can play Superhuman Law Division and use it. Okay, if I play Superhuman Law Division and use it, that brings me down to three. I can remove one more here. I think I have no resources. I'm going to flip and heal, I think. And hold the strength in numbers. Yeah, let's flip, heal. Paying one for Superhuman Law Division. Using the ground stomp to use it. And I'll hold the strength in numbers because, worst case, I can use it for Hawkeye next turn. Such a big problem. Losing that whole build, that great turn one build, just all gone on turn one <laughs> as well. Uh, hold on to that. Probably pay you pay you for basically nothing and maybe play you for some amount as well. Uh, object to that, he schemes for one. That comes into play, I deal two damage to it. Okay.
I've got no blue in hand. Can I... What am I going to strengthen numbers for? I can strengthen numbers for free. I think that's worth it. I'm pretty sure I can strengthen numbers for free. Uh, that one costs one, that one costs one, so that's two. So that's, say, these two. That allows me to strengthen numbers for free, which will allow me to split personality if I'd like, but I don't think I would this turn. Oh, maybe I would this turn. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably do that, actually. Strengthen numbers back into Alter Ego. Um, so I can build quicker. So we flip. That kills this, because I think this is better than... Even if I lose one damage, it's better to do that. Let's use these two to play Hellcat for one. Let's overpay for Ant-Man by one. So he actually has a hit point. Let's strengthen numbers for three. One, two, three. Now the problem here is the split personality is causing me to lose the Hawkeye. I think I don't lose the Hawkeye. I think I s instead play the Hawkeye. And hold the split personality. That allows me to attack for 5. got enough allies in play that I can probably block anything that's in play. I've got four allies. This is going up to four. Yeah, I think I can deal with this. And this is a great split personality turn. Okay, so this goes up to four. He attacks. I'll take it on myself. It is a five damage hit. So I've been hit for five every turn. Um, crowd control. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Uh, it's only two. It's not the end of the world because I've already got this, so I can just remove it. Surge and exhaust my identity. Stampede. Okay. The one to lose is the Hawkeye. This Hawkeye. I really need a rapid response in this deck, actually, thinking on it. The first thing I'm going to do is play three copies for Split Personality to flip to Alter Ego, drawing six. None of these are overly useful. Am I going to legal practice? I might actually legal practice here. Uh, let's start by removing two to remove this. Not the whole card. Remove two here. I'm pretty sure I don't legal practice. Let's flip back to hero form. In order to play Quinn Carrier. Let's bring her back to hand. In order to play her again, costing one. Two, three. 
brought for two. And let's set up a superhuman strength for next turn. Now, I need to block with someone here. It'll be the Ant-Man because they're dirt cheap. You have a damage on you. One block with the Ant Man. Ah, uh, Mess of Things has two gang ups in it. Oh, it's so painful. Uh, safely with myself. <laughs> now this is awkward because of the two hit points here. Okay, I don't have the shield trait, do I? No, I got gamma. can't build this <laughs> this engine that I need. Uh, let's attack and one, two, punch. No, not that one. Use one of the one, two punches to play one, two punch. So I'm ready. Uh, he is stunned. He is tough. I am stunned. And he is on 16. Swing again to remove the stun. Swing here to remove the tough. Bring it back to hand. Pay the Triskelion to put it back into play. Remove the threat. Now it's only one. Foot to alter ego. Oh, I don't need to remove the threat. Eh. Uh, we'll do one damage instead. Just in case he tries to heal. And... We can use that to remove the threat. That draws me five cards. Finally got my assessor situation on a decent turn to play it. Um, one schemes for one and the other advance is gone so I'm actually in a really safe spot here. Caught off guard. I can't lose this. I don't think I can lose this either. Or this. I think it's the Law Division. Okay, so. Only card I have in hand that helps damage is. Oh, I suppose Focus Rage kind of does. Um, Gamma Slam for 10. That allows me to do 12, 15. Oh, 15. That's easy. Uh. Yeah, so it's flip, dealing two, deal three, two, oh wait, wait, wait let's, let's not do that yet, let's play this. Uh, to up my hit points by one. It's four. Uh, 
I'm just assuming that I'm playing in the, uh, imagining I was playing in the solo league. Um, so that would be the best I could have done. A Gamma Slams for 10, because I'm on 16 max hit points. Um, counts as me being on 9 for the hero score and there's zero threat on the on any of the schemes and no minions in play. Um, for reference, if you ever play solo league, HP's on minions and villains, HP on hero and allies and threat on here are what matter for scoring. And whether you win or lose and how many rounds you take. But 9 out of 15 is not bad for the HP stuff, it could be better. And yeah, that was game. That was game. Uh, that did not work anywhere near as well as it should, but that particular setup is really bad for She-Hulk. And I did still win. Um, let's see how it goes against Absorbing Man is instead. Um, Absorbing Man with... I don't even know what I'm going to do. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's quickly save this as an object. Fluff base name can come later. Uh, reload the game, start up a new video. 